Well, good evening from the Roosteren Observatory. When I posted the poll to see what uh, targets you wanted to compare C star to dwarf to Stellina, there was one suggestion of NGC 1333. I had uh, never imaged that nebula before. So I decided to go for it tonight. We have broken clouds, poor visibility, and uh, every reason for uh, an early night's sleep. But uh, I'm going to try and see what C-Star can do with this new target. I'm not putting any other telescope outside today, tonight. Uh, if nothing else, uh, I'm going to give it a chance and see what uh, what it can do. As long as I can see Jupiter, it means we have a chance. NGC 1333 right now is uh, 26 degrees above the horizon. And we're already failing at stacking. I hope we don't end up with a disappointment tonight on this uh, C star video. But uh, welcome and I'm glad you're joining us. It has stacked two minutes, so that is uh, 12 videos so far, sorry, 12 frames. Let me see what the clouds are doing to us. The seeing is poor. Uh, the focus is reasonably good, but uh, we have broken clouds out there, lots of clouds. So I'm trying a hit and miss between clouds to see how much we can image. Well, there we go, it's stacked one more frame. It is back stacking again. Battery lasts between four and six hours, but I have uh, external power if I need it. I don't expect to be out tonight for more than a couple of hours. Uh, that is uh, the best estimate of uh, broken clouds before it becomes fully cloudy. I did uh, turn on the light pollution filter. Now, if there is any way to turn off those error messages, that would be convenient because we're going to have a lot of them tonight.
I'm keeping an eye out as long as I can see Jupiter. There is hope. Yep, it stacked another one. NGC 1333 is very, very close to uh, the Pleiades, to Messier 45. And if nothing else, uh, it is a reflection nebula, which we had not done before. And uh, I'm anxious to see what colors we're going to uh, end up with once we stack enough frames. With a nebula, I am usually not too concerned about uh, the sharpness of the stars. Uh, as I am with the with the nebulosity that we can capture, I attempted to refocus uh, the C star, but it failed, saying it did not find enough stars to focus on. So I'm going to forego the refocus. It So we have stacked 25 frames so far. For some reason unknown to me, NGC 1333 is known as Phantom Tiara. Basic Bill, good evening. 
uh, don't know, stacking duration. I have clouds to contend with outside. But uh, I looked out and I saw uh, Capella and Jupiter. And uh, 1333 is between Capella and Jupiter, so I decided to go for it. It is a reflection nebula. It is a star forming uh, region and it should have some interesting colors. So uh, I turned on, turned, uh, turned on the light pollution filters so we can pass infrared. And right now my guess is I'm gonna go for at least an hour of uh, stacked images if it allows us, if the weather permits it. I had not imaged 1333 before. So this is the first, we'll see how it goes. All attempts to autofocus C star failed. It complained that there are not enough stars to focus on. But it had no trouble finding NGC 1333. Uh, gentlemen, I have a new microphone. Can you tell me what the sound uh, sounds like? Is this good, reasonable, or shall I keep looking for new microphones? Okay, we are at uh, eight and a half minutes. It is still stacking, so this is a good sign. And I have Capella in the corner of my eye. So as long as I see Capella there, I'm happy. Don't know if you heard of the latest target that NASA added for us to go after, and that is the tool bag that fell out or that floated from the International Space Station. It holds the focus, the default. If you go to advanced settings, uh, there is a default focus that it will start from every time. Uh, so when you reset the power, it'll always go back to that uh, default focus, whatever it is. And uh, in my case, the default focus is not far at all from uh, uh, what it en ends up focusing on when I do a successful autofocus.
Let me see if we can, uh, without causing much trouble. Uh, this is the star focus default and this is the current uh, it always starts from there uh, I can change it after I do an autofocus if the autofocus ends up being too far Well, thank you for the feedback. Uh, I have two microphones now. Uh, one that is a lapel mic, which I'm using. And I have a headset with a built-in microphone. My biggest challenge with my volume, with my voice, is if the dogs are sleeping or not. I would hate to wake Sleeping dogs, as I say, let, let laying dogs lie. I have received more comments about uh, the audio being too soft or bad than about anything else. I think I'm starting to see nebulosity in the middle of the frame and some on top. So we are at 70 frames now, stacked.
I was looking at NGC 1333 on Stellarium to see if I can find the four stars that are in the middle of the frame on C star. And uh, it appears at first blush that uh, C star is showing a rotated image compared to what Stellarium is seeing. Let me for just one second show you my favorite feature lately and it is turning off all the controls around the screen, the on off part, I like it. We are at 95 frames stacked, so we're approaching 100 frames. The dimensions of uh, NGC 1333 uh, are about uh, 10 minutes by 10 minutes, so it'll fit nicely within C star's field of view. Uh, there is the little click up in the corner, right here, on, off. Another nice thing about C-Star, which other uh, smart scopes do not have or smart telescopes is the mark it tells you what you're looking at especially if there is more than one target within the field of view it will identify them all i don't know if you have seen my uh, poll as to what you want to what comparison you want to see next week Right now, uh, M8182 has the highest number of votes, but I received a couple of uh, intriguing suggestions. Uh, Stefan's Quintet is one of them, and Mercarian's Chain is another. And both of these are extremely intricate uh, galaxies that uh, will probably give a solid advantage to Stellina, but uh, they're going to be good to do. One is going to be right after sunset and one right before sunrise, given where they are located. One other metric that I mention often is the time
stacking time versus uh, real world elapsed time and uh, we are at uh, 29 minutes of uh, elapsed time during which we have stacked 18 minutes 18 and a half minutes granted clouds are a problem but uh, C star has an overhead of about five seconds for every frame that it stacks. So it's about a 50% overhead. And you can count it now. One, two, three, four, five, and it starts the next one. So we're at 20 minutes stacked, 120 frames. Still waiting to see colors in the nebula. According to Stellarium, NGC 1333 has a magnitude of 10.88, so it is not bright by any means, and the size is uh, definitely to our advantage, to see stars advantage, it's 20 minutes by, by 20 minutes, it's uh, a circle roughly. The 10.88 magnitude in contrast to M42 Orion, which is a 4.0 magnitude, with every increment of 1 in magnitude, we're talking about 2.5 roughly multiplier, so from 4 to 10 is a 6. So 2.5 to the power 6. So that, that's very, very big difference. Even something like the Crab Nebula has a magnitude of 8.3, uh, which makes it uh, at least 7 or 8 times brighter than uh, NGC 1333.
latest forecast from uh, astrospheric is that we will have a decent uh, cloud cover, 20% cloud cover for the next hour or so with a uh, average transparency and uh, well below average seeing. They're calling it poor seeing, average transparency, and 19% cloud cover for the next hour. And then things will deteriorate. So, uh, assuming their forecast is good, uh, we should be stacking uh, for another hour or so.